Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to start exercise 9.1 and here is the first question. A circus artist is climbing a 20 meter long rope which is tightly stretched and tied from the top of a vertical pole to the ground. You have to find the height of the pole if the angle made by the rope with the ground level is 30 degree. So this is the application of trigonometry where you will have to find the measurement of one side of a right angle triangle when the measurement of one side and one angle is given to you. Now, two things are important. First of all, always make a right angle triangle and always solve for the angle of elevation. Now, the question says a circus artist is climbing a 20 meter long rope which is tightly stretched and tied from the top of a vertical pole. Now this is a vertical pole and there is a rope tied with this pole to the ground and the length of this pole is given to you as 20 meters. This length of this rope is 20 meters and if I join this obviously this vertic vertical pole would be making an angle of 90 with this ground. So we have formed a right angle triangle and it is also given that the rope is making an angle of 30 degree with the ground. So this rope is making an angle of 30 degree with this ground. Means the angle of elevation here is 30 degree. You have to find the height of the pole. Now you have to find this height. Suppose the height of this pole is h meters. Now the measurement of one side and one angle is given to you. You need to find the measurement of this other side of this right angle triangle. And we know that there are certain ratios in trigonometry which we have already remembered in the previous chapter. Using those ratios we can find this. So for this this is about perpendicular because the side opposite to theta is known as perpendicular and the side opposite to 90 degree is known as hypotenuse. So this is our hypotenuse, this is our perpendicular and the remaining side here is base. So here it is talking about the ratio between perpendicular and the ratio between hypotenuse. So for this we have to use the ratio for sin theta and that is equals to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. For remembering these ratios, what we can do is, we can remember these ratios by this certain formula which says, this is Pandit, Badri, Prasad, Har, Har, Bole and Sona, Chandi, Tole. By this uh, funny formula, you can remember these ratios. Here, this Sona is sin this chandi here is cos and this tole here is 10. So for sin theta the ratio is p upon h. Here p is perpendicular and h is hypotenuse. For cos here it is base upon hypotenuse and for 10 it is perpendicular upon base. So these are the ratios. These are the ratios for certain uh, this uh, trigonometric ratios. Now for sin it should be perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Now, sin theta is given to you as sin 30 degree. Perpendicular you have to find out which we have suppose as h meter and hypotenuse is given to you as 20 meters. Now, in the previous chapter again we have remembered what is the value of sin 30 degree and that is equals to 1 by 2 and that is equals to h upon 30. Sorry, this is 20. This is 20. If I cross multiply this, the value of h will become 20 upon 2 and that should be equals to, the h should be equals to 10 meters. So here the value of this, the height of this pole must be equals to 10 meters. So this is how you can solve these kind of questions. In the next video, we will solve the rest of the questions. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and if we have 
any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number the email address and the whatsapp number is given below in the description thank you